we're making a garlicky, what did I say it was? Garlicky green. Oh, uh, yeah. A garlicky green creamy dream. Fuck that, y'all. We're just making this green soup, y'all. And I, um, there was about, uh, what, do you say? what do you say, Danny? Like eight to 10 minutes of me trying to figure out what to call this? Oh, that was generous. I was gonna say 20. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time trying to figure out what I was gonna call this. It's a very, it looks like this very healthy, nutritious green soup, because that's what it is, but it's not your basic bitch. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not like a basic bitch green healthy soup. It's not. It looks like that, but it's just better. It's just better, okay? Not that there's anything wrong with being a basic bitch, by the way. Like, if you happen to be a basic bitch, like, I love you and support you all the same. You're definitely welcome here on my channel as a basic bitch. Medium heat. Bear with me. A lot of ingredients, okay? Don't let that intimidate you. If at any moment you don't have one of these, sub it for something else or just leave it out altogether. So first to start, we're gonna go in with some olive oil. This is some vegan butter that I just happen to have. So we're gonna go in. I know you're like, what, oil and butter? Right in. Ooh. Okay. So we're going in with celery. Right in. Amazing. Cauliflower. We're also using some potatoes. If you're not a potato fan, we're not friends. I don't know why you're even here on this channel if you don't eat potatoes. But if you happen to be someone who doesn't eat potatoes, you don't have to use them. But again, like, don't try to like, don't try to like actually become close to me because I can't become close with someone who doesn't eat potatoes. Okay, broccoli. So because we're blending this up, I'm not overly concerned. Where's my knife? Here it is. So because we're blending this up, I'm not overly concerned with how this broccoli looks. This is fine. This is all fine, all right? You don't need to like stress out about choppy choppy, okay? Especially not with the broccoli because we are gonna blend it up. Also going in with garlic. Now this is gonna really just do its thing, okay? You're just gonna let this saute for about six to eight minutes, seriously. Just let this do what it does. We have an entire jalapeno here. I like it spicy. I'm adding a whole one. You certainly don't have to. You also have some green onion. Remember, I told you, it's a lot of ingredients, but it just adds more depth. But if you don't have something that I'm talking about, if you don't have something I'm mentioning, no stress. We also have an onion here. And <laughs> I don't know what was happening in my brain this morning, but this onion is cut in two different ways. I have small dice and I have um, some onion slices. Again, we're blending it, it really doesn't matter. See how this is looking like one of those green soups? You know? It's just, uh, you know, maybe it is just like one of those basic green soups. I think it's not, you know? I think it's very special. I guess you'll have to make it and you'll have to be the judge, huh? Okay, this is when the special ingredient comes. Coconut cream, gorge. <laughs> you wanna get every morsel? For those people who can't have coconut, if you're looking for a replacement, ultimately, you could just add more vegan butter. You don't need to stress. It's not a necessary ingredient, it's just something I really like. Also, we're gonna add aromatics. So we've got a teaspoon of garlic and onion powder. Also some coriander, because I'm feeling, because <laughs> I want it. I'm feeling a little coriander, coriander is sexy. You ever just feel sexy? Uh, also some nutritional yeast. I, I put nutritional yeast in everything, just like lemon zest. Like if you don't care for it, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's just a perfect ingredient. I love nutritional yeast, okay? It's a fortified yeast, lots of vitamins. Also, frozen spinach, boop, right in there. The goal here is green, right? So whatever green ingredients you have, ah, throw them in. So we got some frozen peas here. I'm gonna use half, okay? Because you know when you have a soup and you put peas in, right? And you put peas in at the very beginning. And by the end, the peas, they look like, uh, 
They look like little, they're just brown, right? Like they just look like little brown beads by that point. Like the green is just completely cooked out of the peas. We don't like that. We don't mind it, right? It doesn't like really affect the flavor, but it's not our favorite thing. So a way to prevent that from happening, put the peas in now, right? Let these, let this all come together and cook together. And once we blend it in, then we'll add more peas at the end. It'll be nice and bright and keep that gorgeous color. Like a good amount of just regular ass kosher salt, y'all, okay? If you wanna get jazzy with your salt, I'm not judging. We're going with coconut milk because it just so happens to be my personal favorite. You'll probably notice me using coconut milk a lot. It's just an ingredient I always have in my pantry and I love deeply. Amazing. Get that zest in there. Cute. Cute. So I love soup for a number of reasons, but probably one of my favorites is leftovers. It's so great. This soup in particular is just wonderful. I don't know what it is about it, but it's way better the next day. And if you have a large family, make a large batch, large and in charge. If you're solo dolo, that's fine. That's fine. I used to be solo dolo too. <laughs> but I have a boyfriend and he's great. <laughs> So you already can see this is majorly cooking down, which is definitely what we want. And we've added no water yet. I'm gonna add water because damn it, a bitch done run out of vegetable broth, okay? I used it up yesterday. And frankly, I just didn't have time this morning. So I'm just gonna use water because like I said, just careless, I just, I just ran out of vegetable broth. We're just gonna do this. You can already see the green color and it's gorgeous. We're gonna pop a lid on this. All right. Garlicky, creamy, green, dreamy. Okay, so this is what we want. It's thickened up. Don't worry if some of the stuff is not as vibrant or as green as it was when you first started. You've cooked this, right? Don't worry about it. We're gonna get that immersion blender in here. We're not gonna blend it all completely smooth, okay? I like, I like my soup a little chunky. Kinda like my thighs. Yeah. All right, is this gonna read? I'm just gonna do a little scooch a dooch here. All right, nope, maybe not. Yep, there it is, okay. See, that's why it's nice to have an island on wheels, right? Okay, let's do this. Ooh! Now, if you don't have an immersion blender, don't stress. You can use a regular blender and or you don't have to blend it at all, okay? It's just as delicious if you don't blend it. I'm just blending it because I like blending things. So the way I like to do an immersion blender, find the area where you really wanna blend and kind of just drop down right onto that spot. If you move around too much, it can get too messy. So find the spot, ooh, big chunk of broccoli potato right there and drop down on it and get your eagle on. Like I said, I don't wanna fully blend this up, right? I want it to be, you know, Chunky. Ooh, beautiful. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. So at this point, if you wanted to add more liquid, you totally can. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more coconut milk. And I'm also gonna add, we're gonna come back in here with peas, okay? Because I want the green pea situation to be nice and vibrant. I'm gonna add about a cup more coconut right in. Yum, yum, yum. More lemon zest. I know almost every single recipe of mine has lemon zest in it. Uh, get used to it. I think I just, did I just mess up my nail? Oh, okay. Sorry. There's nothing worse. You know, I get fresh manicures just for y'all. I really do. I don't do it for myself. I do it for y'all. Let's move this aside. We're gonna give this parsley a little choppy choppy. Don't, and don't go, don't go wild. Don't, it just, it's fine. Rough chop is nice. You don't, we don't need to stress out over here trying to make this perfect. Lots of black pep because why not? Okay, right in. Gorge. Nice little stir. Mm, yum, 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 yum. We're gonna do a lovely dose of coconut cream on top. Love it, stir it in. Creamy, dreamy. Just so gonna do a quick little basil julienne. Just wanna layer them, kind of from largest to smallest, right? Traditionalists will tell you to take the stem off. 
whatever. If you want to keep the stem on, like this stem is not killing you, okay? It's not. So stack it here, and then you're going to roll it up, right? Sorry, this is just like... <laughs> mm. Gorge. And then you're going to just... Pretty. They're just these gorgeous little basil ribbons. Yum. Gorgeous. Okay. Pep. In your step. Yum, yum, yum. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. A little bit more salt on top. Gorge, right? And olive oil right on top. Yum. Oh. If you wanted to add some red pepper chili flake, that'd be gorgeous too. Remember, we got the jalapeno in there, so the spice is real already. This is my house, I live here. This is my kitchen, right? So if I double dip, right? Mm. Oh my God, this is delicious. Oh my God, this is so good. Wow, it's that, that jalapeno, you gotta do it with jalapeno, it's so good. You know what else? That coriander. Man, it's good. Wow, 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 this is so good. Mm. You see me double dipping? See that? It's fine. Because the soup is just for me. Mm. Mm. You know what this could use? You know what this could use, Dean? Okay. Shut up. This could use a head of lemon. Just a nice lemon squeeze just to finish it. That is your creamy green. I think I got some on my lip. What did we say it was again? Creamy, dreamy? Oh, garlicky. Oh, yeah. It's 10 cloves of garlic. Garlicky, creamy, coconut, dreamy soup. Coconutty? Coconut, coconutty, creamy coconutty, creamy dreamy, creamy, 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 grimy, greeny. What do you think? Garlicky, greeny, creamy, dreamy soup. Maybe not greeny, right? Greenish, garlicish. Garlicky, creamy, creamy, coconut, dreamy. I like coconutty. Coconutty, dreamy soup. Dreamy. Why is dreamy? Why do I want to say dreamy? Oh, is that it? Can you just make the damn soup? Just make the soup. I don't know. I, listen, I don't know what it's called. It was the, 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 the title of this episode was heavily debated. Seriously, you should make this. I know it seems like a lot of ingredients, but it's so good. That's it.